are currently sailing on Holland America Lines Rotterdam somewhere out in the Caribbean and wanted to make this video to tell you why we like Holland America so much and why you should give it a chance. So first off, we are going to start right here on the Lido deck on the Rotterdam with the thing that I think is most important and that is the misinformation about the demographics on these ships, okay? This is not gonna be a hit at senior citizens. I think it's great that senior citizens are out there cruising, and this, these words did not come from me. But the first time we decided to cruise on Holland America, so many people told us, you're gonna hate it. It's nothing but old people on the ship. You're not gonna have any fun. Literally, we got told that so many times. We're in our 40s, so we're kind of, I don't know, and we're gonna say middle age, but I guess so. Um, we absolutely love these ships. Now, I will say the newer ships are geared more towards our age, and maybe the older ships are geared towards an older crowd. We have only sailed on the Pinnacle class ships and love it. But I can tell you right now, we're on a busy Lido deck. There are kids playing ping pong right here. There's 90s music playing on the Lido deck, and this ship is definitely our vibe. Something that's very important about cruising is a comfortable cabin. Let me tell you, we've had the best sleep in this cabin. The layout is fantastic. We have plenty of room, not just for storage, but to walk around. You know, some of those cruise cabins are real tight and walking. The bathroom is nice and big can't say enough about these cabins. Tip for if you're wanting a balcony on Holland America, look at the deck plans and on the lowest deck, usually deck four, forward and aft, are cabins with massive balconies. We've had these on two of our cruises with Holland America and loved them. Literally the size of the balcony is three times the size of the balconies above you and they don't cost any more. This is a little tip, but you'll appreciate it when it comes to packing. There is really good quality shampoo and conditioner in your shower, so there's no need to pack that, which will save space in your suitcase. While this ship has great nightlife, sometimes you don't want to do anything at night. Maybe you've had a long port day or you've sat by the pool all day on a sea day and you just want to chill at night. This is fantastic. There are literally hundreds of on-demand movies for free that you can watch in your cabin. And room service is free. There's no charge. Everything on the menu, completely free. So you can have a good chill night in your cabin if you want to. I'm not exaggerating when I say that our favorite cruise line for food is Holland America. Everything we've eaten on this ship has been delicious. And we eat the buffet a lot, like literally almost every meal because it really is that good. Even the desserts are good. There are some cruise lines we'll go on where we won't even touch the buffet because it's mm, This is good food everywhere. From the buffet to the main dining room to the specialty dining restaurants, all really good. For anyone who knows me, I love my sweets and I love cookies. Seriously, love cookies. These cookies are the best cookies I have ever had on a cruise. I'm not exaggerating. I eat them every single day. You can ask Jason. I love these cookies. I just love the Grand Dutch Cafe. So this little spot is number one, a really cool chill spot with great views of the ocean. You can get your specialty coffees here. You can get drinks that you can't find anywhere else on the ship like Jason's Sparkling Water. And they have snacks all day long. They have specialty Dutch snacks. They have things like uh, the green pea soup that is special to Holland America. So you can just, you can get actual meals here. Sandwiches, soups, things like that along with pastries and sometimes you can find the Dutch pancake. One thing that's nice if you do want specialty dining you don't have to pre-book it. Now you can if you want to but I know there's some cruise lines that if you don't pre-book your specialty dining you're not gonna get good times. We got on board this ship had nothing pre-booked right there behind me is the reservations or you can do it from your app or you can go to any of the specialty dining restaurants and get time so you don't have to pre-book. In our opinion, Holland America has the best live music at sea. Now this is gonna vary by ship. We are currently on a Pinnacle class ship and these ships have 
three really incredible music venues. There is the Rolling Stone Rock Room and Billboard On Board, which play 45 minute alternating sets every night. Then you go down the hall and the second area is a combination of Lincoln Center Stage, which is classical music, mostly during the day and then in the early evening, and then at night it becomes B.B. King's Blues Club. Truly fabulous musicians at all of these venues. Love any ship that has an observation lounge and these are great they're at the very front of the ship high up so as you're cruising into port you can come up here and watch the scenery in a nice comfortable chair there's a coffee bar there's a bar also lots of seating this is also where the shore excursions desk is so they call it exploration central and you can come here and learn about the ports you're going to um, ask any questions of the shore excursions desk but this is really a great place to just sit and relax and chill and get that cruising vibe. One thing that we really love about this class of ship is all of the interesting art all over the place. So when you go on a lot of cruises, there's that little art gallery where you can go purchase random art. But on these Pinnacle class ships, they have really interesting art everywhere. It's not for sale. It's just part of the decor of the ship. This is one of Jason's favorites. It reminds him of the Beatles album, Crossing Abbey Road, but it's penguins. One other thing about Holland America is the amazing itinerary. So you can get a seven day Caribbean cruise, but you can also get all over the world. You can get long itineraries. You can cruise as little as seven days, as many as I think six months for like a world cruise. But um, I've seen some very cool itineraries all over every single continent. Um, any kind of combination of places you want to visit, you're going to be able to find it. And of course, Alaska. Not everyone knows this, but Holland America was the first cruise line to cruise to Alaska. I mean, they kind of invented Alaska cruising. So if you're looking for an Alaska cruise, definitely a good option. The pricing is actually a lot more affordable than you think it is. So this is a step up from your beginner cruise lines, but the pricing's not bad. And they have the have it all promo. So in your cruise fare, you're getting a, your signature beverage package. You're getting two specialty dining meals. You're getting shore excursion credits and Wi-Fi. And it's good Wi-Fi. So the pricing is more affordable than you think it is. One thing you're going to really notice is quality. Everything on this ship is high quality. Number one, the ships are absolutely beautiful. They're very well maintained. The cabins are comfortable and spacious. The walking spaces in between are very good. The music is great. The shows are great. The food is great. Everything about the Holland America ships is great quality. So in closing, you can see why Holland America has quickly become one of our favorite cruise lines. We really, really do like it on board. We've had a great cruise experience on this one and our prior cruises. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in sailing with Holland America and never have before, I am a travel agent and would be happy to help you book it. My email is travel at eecctravels.com and we'll see you next time. Happy cruising. Bye.